All right, so study strategies. This is a mind map, and we're going to go through how to take this mind map from a level one study strategy to a level three study strategy. So more than just memorizing what the definitions are, but how things connect together. So our quiz is on molecular motion. So that's where I'm going to start with in the center of my mind map. And this idea of molecular motion is that atoms and molecules move and they have energy. So I'm going to put an atom zooming around in here and maybe an offshoot from here and tell myself that molecules have energy. All right, so that's kind of one idea. And then, of course, how I measure that energy is with this idea of temperature. So that's another idea that I thought of connects to this idea of molecular motion. So with that, I'm thinking to myself, all right, I know that temperature is having to do something with heat. So maybe I've got another idea coming off of this that heat is just another term for energy. And I think what I might do is draw a little picture uh, maybe ice cubes and maybe fire. And from there, I'm letting myself know, okay, less energy and more energy. Okay, so that's kind of where I'm going with my idea of temperature and heat. So let's think about something else that we are expected to know. And that was this idea of states of matter. So maybe on top of my molecular motion, let's talk about states of matter. Okay, and I know that I've got three different main states of matter that we've talked about in class. So maybe I've got um, gas over here. I've got liquid right here, and I've got a solid right here. And I'm going to define the space for those. And we've done a lot of drawing with them, so I'm gonna maybe remind myself that solids have atoms that are pretty close together. They still have motion though, they vibrate. Uh, you know, I think what I'll do is, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll put some of those ideas right here. So I know that they vibrate and that they have a definite shape. It stays in its shape if I try and dump it on a student. And so that's an idea coming off of solid here. And then maybe I'll keep that theme of drawing some examples and my liquid atoms are a little bit farther apart but still contained within their um, space, their volume, their container. And they're more free-flowing. That's an idea for liquids. Um, and they take the shape of their container. So notice how the, these ones are taking the shape of the container, whereas these ones are kind of stuck next to each other, next to the solid. All right, so I'm just, all I'm doing is kind of writing some ideas from my notes that I've got written down in the different labs. I'm just organizing it in a different way. So with my gas, we have got that they are atoms that are really going fast, and they can escape the container if there's no lid on it. So I'm going to write that down. Okay. 
They can escape, and they are definitely moving faster. Okay, so then, let's see, where can I go from there? Maybe what I'll do is come back around to my starting point, molecular motion, and let's talk about volume. And volume, I know, is the amount of space something occupies, something takes up, and that something is matter. And with this idea of volume in my notes, I notice that I've got units, centimeters, cubed. I've also noticed that there are units in milliliters, if something is maybe uh, a different state of matter. So then, oh, states of matter. Wait, I can connect these. So if I've got centimeters cubed, check this out. I know that a solid can be measured the volume in centimeters cubed. So let myself know that, okay, those two have a connection here. And the same with these units. These units apply to liquids. So I'm going to take my connection all the way over here to liquids. And maybe I'll write on this line um, units to measure volume of a liquid. So I'm already starting to see some connections. So I've gone from a level one study strategy, which is just writing down definitions, straight memorization. And now I'm starting to find some of the connections between these vocabulary terms that my crazy teacher Meg has told me to know about for the test. Okay. Oh, and maybe for measuring the solids, I know for centimeters cubed, I've got a formula. We've got length times width times height. And again, that's for something that's a solid, so now all these things here are connected. Okay. So from here, I would like to talk maybe about a different idea. Oh, density. We need 